Hey, this is Ron Johnson. Welcome to another video vlogs of creating change. And obviously, I'm a life coach, mentor coach. And every time something happens in my life, I like to share with you guys because everybody out there is going through something. It can be big, it can be small, but everybody's fighting something. And the biggest thing right now is with COVID shelter in place is that proximity to people are closer. You can't have an outlet. You don't have time with your friends. You can't go travel. You can't go on vacations. You can't do what you normally like to do. Okay, so something happened yesterday with less than 24 hours i got in a big argument with my girlfriend okay i mean pretty much i walked away and said you blame for every single thing you blame for this blame for that and let me tell you what happened here every time you go through a relationship with somebody the first thing they fight about always is finances finances can be uh who uses the most water finances can be you know you don't manage your money right money's bailing you out they can be all different uh, avenues of finances. So when you live with somebody, obviously you share finances. That's part of relationship. If you're with somebody and live with them and everything's separate, I don't think it's the best relationship because how you navigate anything when something comes up, it's always a lie. Like how much does he, he have or, or she have? So in this case, you're all about finances. It's an electricity bill. Obviously, you guys know I just moved from California to Bellingham, Washington, so we get our last electricity bill. So the bill was $374. And, uh, my girlfriend starts freaking out. She's like, oh my God, you know, we moved to a bigger place. It's going to double. It's going to be 80 now, $900, dollars a month. And here it came. You know, me, I don't like it hot. I like it cold. So yes, I turn the AC down from 78, which is whatever average is for most people out there. I like a 72 or 73. Um, yes, I do run dishwasher all the time because, you know, I want clean dishes. That's just how I am. You know, things get used. So um, when I heard her blaming me for these things, I stormed off and said, look, I'm sick and tired of blaming for every single thing. Now, and I re reset back to us as look, you know, have you ever done your research? Research being, <clears throat> have you looked at the kilowatts per hour? Uh, have you looked at, you know, in fact, we're home more often now. So you're going to use electricity. You're going to use the microwave more. You're going to cook more. You're going to do all these things more because you're just home more, right? Well, normally if you're at work, you, you're definitely going to eat at work or you bring your lunch to work and use the electricity. Okay. So with that said, I started off. I went to the gym from like 7 a.m. to like 10 a.m. Just had a moment to, to, to think to myself. And obviously I was angry. I was angry because I don't like being in a situation where I'm not in control of my own destiny, my own finances. And obviously my situation, my girlfriend's wonderful. She's taking care of me. And, you know, um, I'm transitioning from becoming a personal trainer to a full-time life coach. And, but that's part of a brilliant relationship. People help each other out. So I was very frustrated. She was frustrated. We're texting back and forth, which is texting to do anything. And about three hours later, I come back home and we talk. And obviously... I, she realized that, well, you know, the electricity was high because it was a month, all of September and half of October. And at the same time, the kilowatts had went up in July and also in August. So in California, everything's super expensive. So the point of me telling you a story or bringing it up is that, you know, when we get into an argument about something, we always have our, what I call paradigm blindness. And what that really means is that we have our own perceptions and our own feelings about a situation. And we don't know the person's thought and their, obviously, perception about situation. So it just blows up. Then, obviously, in, in any time there's an argument with something, it's going to be what person feels and what their own, excuse me, own experience of life really is. But the reality is that if you don't talk, you don't bring put things on the table, and you don't discuss each other's paradigm blindness or perceptions and where they view something or their own personal feelings, if you don't discuss anything, how can you really get better relationship and love more? What's really great about the situation is that it adds another feather in our cap. It adds us being closer together because we conquered something together because they had the ability to communicate. And by communicating with each other, that then gives you the ability to now get to know the person much better. See, nothing in life is um, not solvable. You can solve anything. And I always said before that we're the own cause of our problem and we're also a solution to the problem. The solution to our problem was communication. The solution to our problem is looking things a little more deeper. So we are going through a problem. Look at the context. What's really going on? I said, look, babe, we got the money. We can pay for it. Why are we arguing over this? We don't know if the new house is going to be double or way less. I said, in California, everything's expensive, right? Expensive means that the price cost of living goes up so high, your, your, your salary or your income doesn't equate to that. So cost of living goes up 15 20%. Your side doesn't go up that percentage. But the point being, learn how to communicate with significant other, our loved ones. Learn and understand where they're coming from and hear them out. When we're thinking about conversation, when I was talking to her, my anger was up. My ego was there, meaning that I wanted her to feel my pain. When I had to say to myself, wait a minute, if I want her to feel my pain, what will, what will it serve me? How will it serve me? 
it wouldn't serve me because if I told, if I didn't sit down and have a conversation, only came out out of anger and how I felt, it wouldn't serve us both. So when we argue about something, we think about all these things in our head, which how we feel, we either one, we don't say it, or two, we say it without really thinking about how the person is going to interpret it, instead of just listening. So God gave us two ears and one mouth to listen. Listen to the person, think, say it, process it, say it, and make sure you clarify things because that will make a better and loving relationship for everybody out there. Friendships, family members, relationships, doesn't matter. Make your relationships better by showing love, by expressing yourself, and by coming from a place of understanding rather than a place of, well, he hurt me or she hurt me. I want to make sure they pay back for it. Thank you for listening to Ron Johnson Life Coach video vlogs.